So many times in the past few years, I have had to grow up. Like the first, second, and third time I heard about kids being shot in schools. Record fires that are killing people were seeing them. But we'll take back what is ours. Youth activism in America is the focus of the new documentary short film, The Day I Had to Grow Up. It showcases six young activists and the events that shaped their political lives, including the Parkland shooting, the Black Lives Matter movement, the climate crisis, and more. Joining us now are the film's directors and producers, Stefano DeFrey and Laura Pellegrini. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you so much for, having, for us. having us. This is great to see that um, people are talking about this, but I always wonder, there's, you know, Larry and I both have teenage daughters, and I always wonder, what do you tell kids if there's something they're passionate about? It's one thing to be passionate about something and then take something to whatever level they feel comfortable with. I think the first thing is that we always tell them is to organize. You know, it's important for them to start off meeting like-minded people so they don't feel alone. I think, um, you know, in the case of, of your family, and, and I'm sure like other families, they want to be heard, listened to, find like-minded people, and that's a good place for them to start, I think we would say, yeah. you know? But it seems today with technology, there are so many ways to get that message out. And I wonder at some point, does an audience get worn out by all that? How do you take the action to the next level to really make an impact beyond just talking? Well, it, we cover it in our documentary. You know, Laura and I bring this up quite a bit about the disadvantages and the advantages of of technology uh, specifically with with a uh, violent sarah yeah absolutely and they, they talk very frankly about the obstacles that they have to overcome in in coming in contact with people who not only um are like-minded but also think differently about a situation so it's really important that kids early on harness the tools to work towards change practically and to really engage in a dialogue with people i think that'll bring activism into a really healthy sphere because I think the fear with parents is that activism can be anarchic and it doesn't have to be, especially in the in the realm and, you know, practice of a kid who's still growing in the world. And so, tech also has one aspect to it that is hard that we, we notice this in our doc that uh, you tend to overly amplify things that you already agree with. And so you have more polarization in a lot of sense. So uh, those face-to-face -face meetings, the way that people have to meet each other doesn't happen online and, and the anonymity as well. So uh, it's a challenge. We cover it in our documentary, but it's definitely a challenge for this generation. Yeah, I mean, I just, it, it's, it's scary how drawn they are to social media yet how put off they are by it because it can be it can get real mean real quick and you're comparing yourself to everyone else it almost i would think it makes a lot of these kids want to shy away from doing anything yeah yeah i i, th I think that i think that um a, a good the ones that we have met uh you know all the six kids that are profiled in in the day i had to grow up they all uh have they see the advantages and disadvantages. I think that comes from their the pressures that they felt um, in their social activist movements and also how to become themselves. They see that they are under a, a microscope and it, 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 there's a sense of following the trends of the day. You know, one of the pieces of advice Laura and I talk about mm -hmm. is finding what you're passionate about so you can have impact as a social activist over a long period of time. If you only follow the political trends of the day, um, you, you run the risk risk of becoming in a loop and that's hard for young people because yeah. it, we all want to belong right we all want to and we see this because we spent two years talking to young kids so you know we're we're very sympathetic to this this um this dilemma so, so you suggest to have this nuanced thoughtful conversation but typically that doesn't happen on social media and it, it's it's hard for it to happen in the middle of a protest so where and how do they have this thoughtful nuanced conversation with the other side well, I think the most important is that if you have family members that are different at, at, in your own family, 
if you're exposed to it, that's a good place to start. Hopefully you have parents that are bringing you up in a way that has opportunities uh, to, to show many different families. We all have different family members yeah. in our lives that are Republicans and Democrats. And it's very important to have that dialogue within a family structure. Absolutely. And it's really important to educate yourself on both sides of the spectrum because then kids will feel more equipped to have those conversations and, and um, you know, and, and engage pragmatically with other kids about strategies and, and building towards change practically, you know? The, the other thing I also want to say is that, you know, watching, how do you have that dialogue with, with, if it's not happening on social media? You know, watching documentaries, watching movies, watching uh, uh, points of view that you don't necessarily agree with is fundamental because over time, as you as you grow and as we've changed, also as filmmakers, your perspectives change, and that you know is not singular to us or anybody. It, it happens to everybody, um, and and I think that's an important part to to be open to realizing you can be wrong on some issues and 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 other people can can give you a different perspective. Boy, good advice for everyone, not just kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, especially yeah. as a directing team, yeah. you know, we're collaborating all the time. We're so always aware of these we're things. We're aware of yeah. these things. Well, thank you both so much. It's called The Day I Had to Grow Up. It's streaming now on Amazon Prime and other platforms. You can also check out the website, thedaydocumentary.com. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you for, for having us. us. Hey, Anna.